Double twisting it here. All right, I'm gonna set you up. There you go, I'm a gentleman. Fox six. You know it. It's off. It's off. Oh, you got two mics. Okay, there we go. You better? Can you hear me? Yes. How yes. Okay. All right. Keep your hand off the button, man. That's what the lesson of the night is. Stop making excuses. <laughs> so, uh, semi funny story, but very ironic. Uh, tomorrow is my daughter's fourth birthday. Woo! Woo! Yeah, four. Yeah, uh, I'm 59, okay, yeah. and uh, this was not intended, it was, uh, it, was a, it was literally a one night stand with a tourist, and we're both guilty of not using protection, obviously, but uh, I found it was out of the woods, I was almost 56, and I had never fathered any, any child, no, not one late period ever, my whole life. And uh, so I had to go get a uh, vasectomy because I don't want any more STDs of uh, <laughs> sexually transmitted daughter. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's Ooh. fucked up, I know. But, uh, <clears throat> so I was going to go get this vasectomy and I was like, uh, God damn, I need to manscape. Because... Uh, <laughs> Because Randall and uh, a couple of other people here in this audience can probably back me up. When you get to my age, you're uh, you got like 50 shades of gray pubic hair, and you know it, when it, when it's hard, it looks like Doc from Back to the Future. Well, when it's soft, it looks like Betty White with a dead snake hanging out of her mouth. Oh, and it's not a good look. You know, it's, it really isn't. So uh, so I got manscaped up, and I go to vasectomy. And holy shit, it's like this young, fairly attractive woman is doing my intake uh, information. I, I thought I was getting it that day. It didn't turn out to be that way. They, they, made me, me, they fucking made me wait 30 more days just in case I wanted to have another child. Like, are you fucking kidding? I think I know I don't want another child. So she's talking to me and, you know, taking my blood pressure and, you know, medical history, all that bullshit. And then she says, and I need to examine your, your testicles. <laughs> Yay! It's like, okay. And I dropped my sweatpants and I was like, I, I felt like Ricky Bobby. I didn't know what to do with my hands. Because you know, <laughs> uh, usually when a woman's that close to my testicles or, you know, drawing, I, I'm like, yeah. And maybe stroke her hair. You know? If she's into it, you know, give it a little grab or whatever. <laughs> but, so I, I, I was like, I'll just do this Superman stand. <laughs> like, don't look, don't look at her, don't look at her, don't look at her. And I, to be honest, I've already been thinking about how I got in this situation to begin with. And I had already had a, like about half a chub going on. Oh no. And then I was like, I looked at her, I was like, oh shit, it got bigger. <laughs> And she was pro. She'd done this before, obviously. So uh, she said, "Don't, don't worry about it. this happens." And I'm like, oh, "Well, I wasn't worried about. it. I was kind of <laughs> enjoying the moment, actually." Uh, so I, I, well, I figured, I'd, while, while I'm here, and you've seen, obviously, many, many generals, I ask her how, how I measure up. She says, well, you know, you have like a, a, a medium dip. Uh -huh. And I said, what, like you can talk to ghosts? Or... <laughs> she said, no, no, it's like medium size, but it, it smells like a foot. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop. Uh -huh. anyway, so we got through the, the appointment, got the vasectomy, uh, everything was fine with that. But uh, <clears throat> that's not really what I came to talk about. I'm going to do a, the only song I actually know. Uh, this is uh, it's written by uh, somebody else, um, 
was the widow of Ralphie May. You remember Ralphie May, Big Fat Ralphie May? Very funny guy. He rest in peace. Uh, her name is Lana Turner, and she's a very, very funny uh, uh, musical comedian. So if you look her up, she's very good. But this is a, uh, I'm self-taught, so don't judge me. Now I know four chords, and I'm probably going to fuck up one of them. How are you? So this is a uh, historical duet by two famous women from history, who you may have heard of. Uh, one is Anne Frank, the little, the little girl who had been hit from the Nazis, right? And you know what Anne Frank didn't want? She didn't want people fucking reading her diary, I'll tell you that. Okay, so the other woman is Helen Keller, who, as we know, uh, was deaf, dumb, and blind, but was uh, able to communicate uh, through the work of Anne Sullivan, the, the miracle worker, uh, to make herself known, right? Yeah, so <laughs> it kind of goes like this. I'm going to fuck this up. I'm going to fuck this up here again. Just do it. See, I already fucked that chord up right there. Keep going. I'm going to fuck this right up. I haven't practiced for a Oh, <laughs> 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 